Hey guys, it's Andrea, and today I'm coming at you with my magical sticker storage. Um, just like my character sticker binder, this one is in a purple Walmart binder. I will leave it linked down below. This one is a smaller binder. My character sticker one is like massive. And I have just put a couple of magical stickers on the front, and I will be just continuously decorating this as I go. This one does not have labels on all of the pockets, but I have used both the four pocket and the two pocket in this organization. And I do feel it, like it is quite organized. I feel like eventually I probably will want to put labels on it, but not today. So let's go ahead and go through this. The foil ones are a little bit hard for you guys to see, but I'll go ahead and explain them. So the first page here, and when I say magical, it's all like Disney related because like I have a lot of Disney related stuff and it needed its own binder. So here I do have a bunch of different movie bucket lists, which reminds me I need to, I need to do the Star Wars one. Um, but I do have three different uh, just Disney movie bucket lists, and I do keep them all, you know, with the foil color that it goes with for these. So gold, silver, and hollow for the most part. And then over here I do have the Marvel ones. I just have one sheet of those because, like... I'll watch them if Bennett wants me to or Theo, but like other than that, I don't have plans to. I think I've seen like a couple of them, but like I just don't care. Then I have like deco-y items. So I do have um, larger ones from my shop, smaller ones from my shop, and then this mixed sheet in a couple of different foils from Simply Watercolor Co. And then down here, I just have these really cute castles from Sparkly Paper Co., which I feel like really come in handy when I'm at the parks. Then I do have some quote boxes here. So these are um, from my shop and also this one is from my shop as well. And then I do have some random, I don't know, do I have like a header section? I don't, oh I do, I'll put those with the headers. So I do have some other random full boxes. These I don't have enough of to like, I feel like dedicate, you know, a, a whole new page for it. I feel like Nick just got home, but I keep them there with the other quote boxes. And then I also do have these ones. Um, again, I really probably could just condense these, but you know, I'm just going to leave them like this. So there is ones from Harriet Wright Designs, and then these ones are from B&R um, Paper Crafts. Then I do have all of my Planahan full box overlays. Um, well, these are like the bougie underlays, and then I have all of her quote boxes, which are from Disney. And I didn't separate those by foil because I feel like there wasn't too many of them. And then these ones I did separate by foil. And these are her full box overlays with different characters, castles, and things on them. Again, I did separate these ones by foil colors so that whenever I'm going through, I can see. Because as you can see, I have quite a bit of them in each foil color. So whenever I'm doing a spread, if I'm doing a silver spread, I'll go through and look and see if I want to use any of those. So then I do have some headers. These ones are from my shop. And I'll just go ahead and slip this in here. Just, this is from Sadie Stickers. Um, I would love for Sadie Stickers to do more magical stuff, like maybe like one magical release a quarter, I'd be down. Then there is Crest Press headers. There is also Crest Press full boxes, the other Crest Press full boxes. And then I do have um, park related stuff. So this says Till Disney and then I have little airplanes and then I do have both of our bucket lists. We have bucket list one and bucket list two. And then over here I do have some kind of mixed sheets of different um, parks. So these have Disneyland, and then I have different um, resort hotels. I have the ones from my shop that have all of the different parks on them. And then I also have this one, which was a custom from Letters to Apollo that has all of the um, monorail hotels on them and also the, the Grand Californian on it as well. And then I separated all of these by foil color. Then I have this here, which is adorably Amy. She also has really, really cute, um, like park stickers that have little symbols next to them and even Disney Springs on there. So I do have those and you can also order some of them separately. So I did order more of the Magic Kingdom ones separately. And this one is my sparkly hollow section. Um, so each of these has, you know, more of the, um, other ones behind it. So just in case. Then I do have some Kitty Mint Co, which is now, uh, Magical Sticker Co. Yeah, so Magical Sticker Co. So I have some of their like matte white with with foil stickers as well as their icons. I'm not a huge fan of their gold. I feel like it's very orange, um, but I do really like their icons. So I have them all because they're so pretty. 
Then I have more character stickers. So like I said, I moved all of my magical character stickers into this binder. So I have the like OG crew and then I have Pixar stickers. I have Disney Plus related stickers, Star Wars related stickers, and then I have park, um, park related stickers. So Haunted Mansion, park icons, the little magic band tapper thing, more like Cinderella stuff, castles, magic bands. Um, rides, fast pass, little characters at the park. And then to the right of that, I do have park food. So that could be coffee, but also snacks, um, you know, pretzels, cupcakes, popcorn, ice creams. And I made these for myself from digital art that I bought off of Etsy. Then down here is mostly like uh, just kind of like other random like magical stuff so people kind of related and like attire then these ones here are kind of like I guess icons so things that I might use not as a character but more as an icon I don't know there was there was thought into this but I don't know like I haven't used it since you know for whenever I went on a trip so this is just sitting and waiting for me then this one here I don't remember actually what this one is I think this is just kind of like regular like anything like Winnie the Pooh, like regular animation. So not Pixar, not, you know, the original crew. Um, then I also have more like park stickers and these ones are customs from Pumpkin Paper Co. These ones could kind of go into the park category, but you know, we'll just keep them there. And then down here are all um, Once More With Love characters. So these ones are everybody else. And then I have Once More With Love ones here because there's just so so many and then next to it I have um just kind of like actually I don't even really know what this category is oh wait is this one all this one might be separated by just kidding this one's separated by shops I don't see that's why I think I need labels so this one has wonton and a million and stick with the plan co this one has teddy plans co and my pumpkin paper co ones this one's all once more with love. And then this one has my little paper planet, Grin and Barrett, um, Paper Shire. Like this is kind of like a catch all here. So that was my thought process there. Obviously I didn't get it. I think I need to use this binder more. Then I have a lot of like larger sheets. So these are all by Little Sparks Designs. So these are all like park icons and things like that. They are quite large, but I feel like I might be able to work them into my spreads. And then the, these are from Second Star to the right, which is on actually like a glossy paper, which is cool. Um, and these are all, again, park icons in uh, foil. I do have a couple sheets here from Pumpkin Paper Co. Like I said, they are larger. So I have couples, friends, snacks, um, and then just different random things. Then I do have a couple of sheets back here. This one is from Becca Doodles, which is a Cinderella sheet. And then this is actually a printable. You can find this on Plan So Cute on Etsy. And they have a, like, princess characters. And then this one is a Parks, which has a really nice variety. And I love that it was printable. I just sent it to Kirsten at work and said, please print this out for me. Then I have a bunch of these, which I have shown before whenever I planned for like for my Disney trips. And these are also on Etsy as far as you can get the characters. I just made the sheets up. Um, so I do have like general princess. And then I also have some Marvel ones, some baby Yoda ones. And then these ones have just other princesses and some Pixar characters on the bottom. Um, but yeah, those are all from the same shop. I don't remember the shop name, but if I remember, I will link it down below. And then here I have um, all of my pretty sheepy stickers. Again, I don't think that these are really separated by anything as of yet. Um, if anything, it's separated by, I believe these are character stickers. And then these are more like um, like solid type icons. And then if we flip the page, I have some more pretty sheepy. So more of the like Tsum Tsum type character stickers. And then these ones I believe are all food. Yeah, all food. Then last but certainly not least, I do have some Disney kits in here. I do have a lot more Disney kits. Those are in my kit binders, but these ones didn't fit in my current kit binders, the ones that I'm using. But I wanted to put them in here because I'll likely use them. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize there's no. Because <laughs> um, I likely use these when I go to Disney or I don't know, something like that. So there's this one here from Harry Wright Designs, which is really cute. This is custom Darcy R, which I think is perfect. 
And then this one is from Odd Loop. And I also had printed myself out some extras prior to them kind of changing up their um, kit format. But I also did then order a bunch of the um, new sheets, which I don't know if I wear those or at, so I'm going to find them. There's one, but I thought I ordered other ones. And then I also have the Up Collection as well as the Sidekicks. And I believe they're releasing or probably will have had released by now a Destinations one, which is really cute as well and Disney themed. So that is my magical binder. I hope that you guys like the little tour. Maybe I'll do an updated one in a few years because I always love collecting Disney related stickers. It's like my favorite thing in the world. It makes me so happy and I'm very excited hopefully one day to get back to Disney and put these babies to use. But that is everything for this video and I will talk to you guys in my next one.